Welcome dear students to the last week in term one. In this last week we will talk about the meiosis and how it's different from mitosis, the difference between them. Now as we know or as we discussed before that meiosis is about the division of the cells inside uh, only the chromosomes that are responsible for the sex chromosomes. So in this uh, in this subject, we will identify how many sets of genes are found in most uh, adult organisms. We're going to compare uh, somatic chromosomes with the sex chromosomes, describe each event that happened or occur in uh, the phases of meiosis in details, and uh, try to differentiate between it and between the mitosis. Moreover, we will differentiate exactly different uh, we will talk in details about the differences between meiosis and mitosis. We, uh, during that, we will explain how two allele from different genes can uh, inherit it together. First of all, we need to talk about the chromosome number. Now, when we talk about chromosomes, we need to understand uh, that chromosomes are homologous in their structure. What does that mean? It means that the chromosomes with the same genes that has originally one originally from the parents and the other one is the new one. Okay, now when we talk about chromosomes, chromosomes can be uh, diploid or haploid. Diploid, as I discussed before, die goes for the number two. Haploid, half, half go for, for the half of the number. So when we talk about diploid, means that they contain both sets of homologous chromosomes. That means the total of two sets. As you can see here, this is mean that has two from each one of them. Where in compared to haploid, haploid contain only one single set of chromosome with a total of one N only. Uh, we will go through uh, the mitosis in details. We'll go through prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We will be reviewing them. In meiosis, we have mitosis one and mitosis two. The differences between meiosis one and meiosis two, the crossing over which happens only in meiosis and give us the different variation of characteristics that happened to the last uh, to the uh, sex chromosomes. That's what gives us the different uh, structures between them. Now, prophase, as I said, we have prophase 1, prophase 2. Prophase 1, uh, the duration of uh, crossing over where some of the genes from different part of the two chromosomes will be cut, causing a different or a variation of the uh, uh, traits. Now, this is the anatomy of it. How the uh, tetrad, which is the four chromatids, uh, uh, can be uh, diploid together to produce one. Metaphase one, also it's the same. Anaphase one, the same. Telophase one and cytokinesis, also the same. Now, when we go to prophase two, which is meiosis two, here we will start to find the difference between the, uh, the two chromosomes that get into the crossing over. You will see how metaphase 2 and anaphase 2 uh, reoccur with two different characteristics for each chromatid. And then the product of mitosis will cause a four different daughter cells that has half the normal chromosome number, which is 23 chromosomes instead of 46. In the summary of meiosis, we compare it with meiosis uh, with mitosis. The prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis are the same in order, different with the main characteristic of the chromatid sister or the chromosomes inside, which is given for different uh, number, for different characteristic uh, chromosomes, which is are four sperms and one egg caused by the um, the size of the egg that needs a higher or a larger cytoplasm that causes to have only one egg. The, how we uh, connect the genes? Alleles of different genes tend to be inherited together when those genes are located in the same chromosomes. That's normally. And uh, when we talk about the gene mapping, we have this uh, the fruit fly, and we can tell about the location and the different chromosomes for each one of them. Thank you.